Hi, Cancer. This is Eric with Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. I am bringing you your reading for the second half of March, 16th to the 31st. Yeah, let's get into it. So a little bit of shop talk. I am available on Instant Go. If you would like to ask me a quick question, my uh, link, the link to my Instant Go profile is in the description box below. And if you'd like to do a personal reading with me, my email address, along with a description of some of the readings that I offer, is also in the description box. Now, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yeah? All right. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancer, uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for the time period of March 16th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Cancer. One more shuffle for you, Cancer, and then we'll get started. Oops. Okay, let's cut the deck here for Cancer. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the King of Wands. This is starting off your overall energy. So this could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> it could also be you, Cancer. Um, rep, uh, you're in, you may be embodying the King of Wands energy. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, though. Like I said, if it's you, Cancer, or if it's someone else that's not a fire sign, then they are embodying the King of Wands energy. We have the Chariot. We have the Empress. And we have the Ten of Swords. All right, so let's just get straight into this. I mean, right off the bat, I'm picking up more Twin Flame energy here. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing these readings as just a general reading for everybody because I am doing um, Twin Flame readings. So these readings for the Zodiac signs are not necessarily geared towards Twin Flames as a whole. It's for everybody, but because I am very connected with the twin flame journey and I am a bit of, I am, I have accepted a role as a twin flame flame guide. I do get a lot of people that watch that are also twin flames. So here it is. <laughs> Consider this like a bonus twin flame reading because I'm getting a little more in depth to what you're going through it through the guise of your sun, moon or rising sign. But the king of wands here is absolutely representing the divine masculine. And we have the Empress who is representing the Divine Feminine, if you are on a Twin Flame journey. Um, and with the Chariot here, the King of Wands, the, the King of Wands um, knows what he wants and he goes after it. So we have the Divine Masculine here um, understanding, seeing, seeing what it is he truly desires on an emotional level, on a spiritual level, on a soul level. And he's gathering, he or she, please don't get wrapped up in gender. Um, this is just energy. But he or she is mustering up everything he has within, um, balancing it out and moving forward. And they're moving forward towards the divine feminine. If this is not a twin flame situation, this is someone that um, is very fiery, very passionate, very driven, knows what he wants and goes after it, knows what he or she wants and goes after it. Um, and here we have someone making a choice and following through with um, what their heart's desire is. So that could be anything. That could be a job. That could be um, a, a, a relationship. Um, that could be a hobby. That uh, Some sort of something that they are very passionate about. And they're moving towards it with strength and speed quickly. They're, they're really making quick movement here. And what's kind of driving all of this is whatever the 10 of swords here represents. Okay. So, um, I'm picking up that someone finally got to a point where they were like a breaking point is what I just heard. They were just like, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. And instead I'm going to follow what my heart is guiding me to do here with the chariot. Okay. I'm going to do, instead, I'm going to go after that, which I, my soul is calling for. Okay. And with the Empress, I'm seeing, um, a fertile, fertile chance 
a fertile environment for this to move forward. A nurturing environment. It's like, it's like you're giving birth to something new. Whoever the king of wands is, they're giving, they're, they're, they're facilitating the birth of a brand new, like a transformation is happening, a brand new reality for themselves. Okay. All right, Cancer. So let's get into the storyline now. The three of swords mm -hmm. and the queen of pentacles. Look at that. Um, so again, uh, a back to, back to twin flame situations. <laughs> The Queen of Swords was slighted. I'm sorry, not the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles was slighted. Her heart was broken. Now, again, this could be a male or female, but this is the Divine Feminine here. Um, and I mean, to be honest with you, I keep, I do say there are many different ways that the Twin Flames can be represented in ter the Tarot deck. Um, the King of Wands represents the Divine Masculine. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands are really the most uh a representative representative of the uh, twin flames in the minor arcana but then in the major arcana there are a few ways there's the empress and the emperor there's the um hierophant and the high priestess uh there's yeah that's it so then here we have the queen of pentacles so this is also represent uh, um this is also symbolizing the divine feminine but here it's symbolizing her because it's speaking to her um family oriented nature. And um, it's really interesting because if any of you have Pisces in your chart, um, I, I recommend that you watch the Pisces video, or maybe if you're dealing with a Pisces, I recommend you watch the Pisces video because the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles came up in that, in that one too. And we were talking about how the Queen of Pentacles, you know, was betrayed somehow. So here we have that representation again. Her heart was broken. You know, she was cheated somehow. Um, and if we're talking about twin flames, yeah, that's that's exactly what's been going on. The divine masculine, ha for the for a lot of us, has been acting in ways that have led to feelings of betrayal in the divine feminine. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that, and what happened in the Pisces video is that it came out that the, the King of Wands got it. Whoever the King of Wands was representing got it. Got the, starting to understand, you know, how his actions have created the situation between the two of them. And so now he's trying to turn things around and change and make it better. And we see that here as well with the Chariot and the Empress. Like the, the King of Wands gets it and is trying to move forward. Um, so then moving forward with the story, we have the Eight of Swords and the Emperor. Okay, see, look, we've got the counterparts right here. We've got the Empress and we've got the Emperor. Um, oh, right. Um, so the, uh, the, um, the, the Emperor here is talking about someone that was very dominating, very controlling. Um, and what happened what, in this situation was that they were just trying to control everything, but they were doing it from a standpoint of they were trying to control everything from an ego point of view. And now as things have transpired and they're starting to realize what they screwed up, in essence, they're kind of stuck in their head about it because they don't really know which way to go. There are some people out there, whoever the emperor, the emperor is symbolizing for you, Cancer, whether that be you or this other person that we're talking about, um, they're, they're still caught between that ego-based thought of wanting to control everything for their own benefit and coming out of that and seeing things differently, trying to approach the situation where not not necessarily losing all control, but not trying to control every little thing, um, number one. And number two, not using their power of their, their controlling abilities or their, you know, how using the control that they have um, in a really strong and adverse way, like over controlling, right? They're not really sure how to come out of that. And they're kind of stuck in their head. They're like, they're, they feel trapped in a sense because it's like they don't want to lose their identity but they, they, and, they, and they don't want to lose control over their lives, but they don't realize that they can't control everything. It's very, it doesn't feel, this does not feel like a very good mental space to be in. 
and all, and all the while they have this three of swords energies connected with oh yeah see look it wanted to show up this way it's sideways it's like they have this three of swords energy hanging over their head while they're in this eight of swords state mentally but the card wanted to come out sideways this way because it's like it's neither here nor there you know what i mean it's like it's not reversed so they're not getting over it but it's not upright you know so it's not still happening it's just in limbo and that's what's helping get this keep them in this eight of swords energy like they feel like they're trapped they don't know which way to go they don't know which what to do almost um that's only for that's for some um but for others for those of them that actually have gotten it the eight of swords with, with the emperor is saying now they they are they, they're coming out of this this mental cage this this egoic prison almost is what i'm picking up on moving forward cancer we have the knight of wands with the ace of cups excuse me so i'm seeing quick movement here what i'm also seeing cancer you could be um you could you might be getting into a fling you might be having a fling with somebody like um the knight of wands energy can be pretty wash wishy-washy um is here one minute gone the next you know and the knight of wands usually tends to can symbolize hookups one night stands stuff like that um but what i'm seeing here is there could be at some point cancer you could have this like passionate rendezvous with someone that could lead to a new emotional start um that's really what i'm picking up there um if we're talking if we're talking to twin flames here this could be um someone uh, maybe meeting a karmic partner or a soulmate partner for the time being um it could be it could be the divine masculine wanting to come back in and like you know rekindle this relationship start over um and it's and it's coming out as the knight of wands because there's a hell of a lot of passion there's a hell of a lot of desire um lust lots of lots of sexual attraction lots of sexual chemistry um so in that case if that's what you're if that's resonating with you this is not necessarily like a fling a one night stand this is passion being reignited within this connection between the two of you okay next for you cancer we have justice right under the three of swords and the queen of pentacles too i like that i like that a lot with the page of pentacles look at that you guys are really mirroring this pisces reading because in the um in their reading the king of wands came up with the page of pentacles so justice is being served here in some way and it's going to lead to a brand new start uh, materially someone i mean we're going to be starting over with each other basically is what i'm picking up here um yeah karma has been served i believe or karma has been worked out and now you know a new start with um a new start within one's someone's character can be can can be initiated is what i'm picking up here it's like it's almost like <laughs> i'm i'm seeing kind of like a reset button here with with the page of pentacles mhm mm evolution growth um coming to a new understanding and approaching things in a new way so that's really so this is absolutely talking about what we were talking about here with the emperor and the eight of swords um you know they're getting it and justice is kind of the energies of justice is kind of helping them iron things out you know see things see the truth of the matter and then that's giving them a point of view to start fresh to start learning how to see things from less of a manipulative point of view and more of a um con healthy controlling uh standpoint like being able to have control within their within themselves being able to be authoritative enough to motivate people but not but to not um berate them devalue them make them feel like they're less of something you know that's very nice next we have the four of swords okay respite and under the eight of swords that makes sense um taking a break and the seven of pentacles yeah definitely reflection 
taking a, the four of swords is saying they're taking a moment to like step back from the battle and rest and heal a bit recuperate is what i just heard um but they're also using this moment to think back on their situation on their lives in general to see a bigger picture what are these seeds that i planted and what is the fruit that came from them does this fruit even taste good Ugh, no it doesn't how do i grow better fruit like that and finally cancer we have the five of pentacles with the hermit so um I'm getting a message here that some of you, uh, uh, Cancer, if this, if we're talking about, like, say, if you're a divine feminine and, well, no, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to say it that way. I'm just going to say it this way. If whoever we're dealing with here, Cancer, um, they are going to be taking a, a good break. They're going to be um, kind of isolating themselves for a little bit and really going deep within. Um, we have the four of swords here. So they're, that's saying, yes, they're, they're, they're taking a break. But this is this is a message for you. Um, if we're if you are not the King of Wands that we're talking about, Cancer, then this message is for you here. It's saying that um, you might feel a a bit out in the cold um, because this person. It may seem like they kind of ghost on you, but it's not it's not what you think. It's more of they really just need to take some time away and just not communicate right now um they need to take some time to go within and 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 come to terms with some stuff within themselves um so don't worry if like you feel like they've ghosted on you just give them some space give them some time let them let them heal let them work through some things and then you guys later on you'll be able to you know communicate um but also for others of you this is saying that um What's helped this King of Wands understand, or at least start to try and look at what was going on? Because I feel like as the emperor, but as like a kind of a negative or reversed emperor, and the card isn't reversed right now, but um, because I don't, I haven't, I've, I'm not trying to pull reversals, but I'm picking up on the energy that, you know, the emperor was pretty reversed. So he was overly dominant and overly controlling and manipulative. And so now, you being the person that he was trying to control and manipulate and whatnot, you kind of ghosted on him, but you took some, him or her, you took some actions, took some steps that s put some distance between the two of you. And that left them feeling out in the cold with the five of pentacles, which then influenced them to start. Eventually they, they were like, I don't like this fe feeling. Why do I feel, why do I feel like I'm out in the cold like this? And so then that led them to start facing things, start accepting the need to go within and understand on a deeper level here with the hermit. So that's good. <laughs> that is good. All right, Cancer. So there it is. That is your reading for the second half of March. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you for the beginning of April. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye.